Hello everyone, this is Luciana with Motion Crafts and today we have a brand new animation stamp set and die cut combo that is so cute and it's called Snail Mail. What I love about this kit is all the different stamps and dies that you get and you can create different scenes and different projects with it. Like here it's kind of like a mini coloring book or here you can use that with or without the animation wheel. So it's a lot of fun to mix and match your stamp and dies and create different projects. Here you can see everything that's included. We have a 4x8 clear stamp set that's made here in the US out of photopolymer. We have a complete instructions with pictures for inspiration. You get 50 double-sided foam strips that are 1 eighth of an inch, so they're very skinny and very useful to make these sliders for the animation stamps. And you also get all the coordinating die cuts plus the animation grid that will help you create the animation grid out of any color cardstock. This is great because you can create as many projects as you want and it even has a stopper to help you create your own slider. This is a detailed die cut, so make sure that you're using your precision plate or any sandwich combination that you use in your own die cut machine for any detailed die cuts. Before we start making the car, I want to show you every single stamp that you get in the set. This is such a cute one, carrying all the loving letters, and of course he has that little hat. And this is the main one, and what I like is that you can stamp the regular wheel or you can also use it with the animated one. I also designed a separate envelope so you can personalize it and decorate it with these mini stamps and then you can make different ones using the same stamp. I love that you can put the post office sign next to the mushroom and create a scene making the mushroom become like a post office. I think that's very cute. And you get so many different flowers and little plants, hearts and even grass and they all come with a coordinating die cut, so it's kind of like you can create your own ephemera. Okay, so we're gonna start with an A2 card for our base. That folded is five and a half by four and one fourth inches. One of the things that I really like is like every time I stamp this stamp and then I color it, it changes completely depending on what colors you coordinate and mix and match. So have fun and try some new colors and you'll be surprised at how different they look at the end. After we're finished coloring, we're going to die cut the snail out and this is going to be the main character in your car. To die cut the circle for our animated wheel, we're going to use this circle die cut that has like the base for it and that acts as a guide and also we can align it with the bottom of our car so we make sure that the distance for the wheel is like the one that we need for the animation grid to work perfectly. So we're gonna have a little pull tab on the right. That's why I kind of push the snail a little bit to the left. And then we're gonna go ahead and die cut. Now we're ready to glue our snail onto the card. Now we're gonna place our card onto the front of our A2 card and we're gonna use it as a template. I like to use a pencil just to mark very softly where to stamp the animated wheel. When stamping, make sure that these lines are straight and vertical. For the animation effect to work the best, we need to align the lines of the stamps with the lines of our animation grid. So the vertical lines of our animation grids go over our stamp and then we see the optical illusion of the wheel moving and it's so much fun. I chose to stamp my animated wheel with a red ink because I thought it was going to coordinate very well with the colors I already have in my card. So instead of using the black animated grid, I'm going to die cut my own. Having the animation grid included in the set is great because you can make endless cards 
You can always have an animation grid that you can make and coordinate with your project. And then you can choose the color to match the color of the ink that you chose for your animated stamp. This is the detailed die cut, so make sure to use the correct sandwich that you usually use when die cutting detailed dies. Like um, I use a precision plate for it. And I like to run it back and forth a couple of times just to make sure that every line is cut through. To start making our slider, we're going to use the foam strips that are included in our kit. They're 1 8 of an inch, so they're very skinny and they're perfect for this slider. And it's perfect as a guide for our animation grid. To place your stopper right here, align your animation grid to the right side of your A2 card so the animation grid will not slide past that point. It's like we're creating a channel. So right here I'm closing it by putting another foam strip on top of my animation grid. So when we slide it back and forth, it stays straight in its place. Now we're going to put a stopper on the right side of it so it doesn't slide out. So that's why our grid has that little notch so we have this space for the foam strip to fit perfectly. And that's it! This is how we create our slider. It's so much fun, I always get amazed with the animation effect. It's like a little bit of magic on paper. Now if you want to make it a little bit easier to grab and pull the slider back and forth, we're going to create a little notch. So I make a little mark to know how far to go in and then I cut around it. Now we just have to put some more uh, foam strips around so we make it even to close our card. If you have some powder, I recommend uh, putting some around the channel we created for our slider so it doesn't get stuck or like it has anything sticky and it's easier to slide it back and forth. To close the card, just take your time and make sure that everything aligns and press softly and then once everything is set, then you can start closing your card to secure it in place. Then you have so many options to decorate the front of your car because you get the stamps, you get the die cuts, you get the different sentiments. So just have fun and color everything and then after you die cut, you can use them and finish your car. This is such a complete and great set because you get so many different stamps and all the coordinating die cuts that will help you create your car by just using the set and creating the base for your car. We can make so many different projects, like this home decor frame here, I think it's so much fun. And then using the other snails that come in the set, creating your own scenes, and then here with the envelopes using the die cut or the mini stamps to create your own. But I think one of my favorite ideas is decorating the front of your card like it's a mini coloring page. It's a lot of fun and it looks so great. So I hope you have a lot of fun with your new snail mail set. And I can't wait to see all the projects you'll create. Thanks so much for watching!